You know, it's N60 Sean, and we've essentially got an N60 Mania main event caliber contest for you. Uh, Jack Septicai taking on a popular MMOs uh, to qualify for the N60 Mania N60 Championship uh, Hell in a Cell match. Uh, it's going to be Extreme Rules. All of the qualifying matches for Hell in a Cell are no disqualification because if you're going to Hell in a Cell, it's going to get it's going to get spicy in there. So you better start becoming adept at a little, being a, adjusting your game plan to be a little bit more brutal. And Jack Septicai, who's not been on the richest of form recently, looking to get back against, in winning ways against quite a tough opponent in the form of Pablo Lomos. And as our pack comes to the ring, remember to keep submitting your Heroes entries. We're going to be doing our first Heroes match towards the end of the week on Friday. So get those in as Pat striding with purchase purpose and whoa wait here we go jack said to guy wasting no time flying through the ropes he's got pat's n80k championship belt and he's just smacked him like right at the base of the spine right and now pat now jack's got a baseball bat and pat flies in with a clothesline pat's not even taken his headphones and his towel off yet and this one is breaking down Pat, who won the uh, Boss Mode Battle Royal to win that N80K Championship, now looking under the ring for a kendo stick, and Jack catching him with a reverse elbow. Two of these guys probably right in the top end of our main event picture in our series, and Jack catching Pat with a super kick, a Hadouken, still not managing to take the monster Pat off his feet, and he has just chinned Jack Septakai, absolutely potatoed him in the face with a right hand, and now Pat going for more weapons, and now he's got a steel chair. And it was important, important that Jack caught him with that right hand then to disarm Pat and sent him sprawling to the outside. Pat, oh no. That will scramble your brains as Pat was thrown over the barricade and Jack caught him coming back in with a huge steel chair shot. Jack, one of the most experienced competitors, has been here since season one. Pat arriving in season two and these two have never met one on one in all seven seasons and now wait Jack flying in with the Septicai punch his signature manoeuvre but even with the Septicai punch still can't get Pat off his feet two huge Septicai punches not even knocking Pat off his feet that is the sort of monster that we're dealing with here and Jack knowing that he's going to have to take every single trick in his book German suplex almost walked into it but Jack with the athleticism still managing to land on his feet and this time taking Pat down with a Lucas press fist in fire punching Pat right in the jaw with those right hands from Jackaboy. Jack now sending Pat Sprawl to the outside and follows up with a flying crossbody. And that is going to be the sort of offense that Jack is going to have to do here. Yeah, and now Jack's getting destructive. Look at this, Jack making short work of the announce table. And Jack knowing that this is, oh wait, going for the super kick. Pat blocks, but catches him again, plum, square under the chin from Jack Sentakai, who's now looking for more weapons and is now bringing a ladder into the mix in Pat desperately swinging to try and disarm Jack from, from that ladder and as I was saying earlier Jack and Pat have never faced each other one-on-one -on -one in seven seasons I think they've come um, head to head in a couple of tag team matches maybe uh, in a money in the bank match potentially elimination chamber but one-on-one -on -one, this is a first for our N60 Sean series as Jack manages to wrestle that table away and plods Pat down at ringside, Jack now setting up that table. N60 Championship implications here. Jack now going for that springboard moonsault. Oh no, that is a disaster. And Jack has managed to put himself through a table. And we've seen Jack self-sabotage himself before, going for that high risk. But knowing that's the sort of moves that he's gonna have to employ to try and slay the beast of Pat, and that has totally backfired, misjudged it. I don't know if he quite judged the spring of the ropes enough, but he's essentially put himself through a table. Going for another Septicai punch. This time, Pat's blocked it. Punch in the face to Jack. And now Jack is on the announce table, and this does not look good. Bump kids commentators look concerned. The crowd look concerned. And an F5 to Jack, putting him through the announce table. And Jack looks flat out. Pat now looking to get Jack in the ring to try and get the cover here and book himself a place in the Hell in a Cell, Jack too close to the ropes and Pat when like a conventional competitor would just roll the opponent over Pat using his strength and literally dumping Jack down that's one, two and Pat doesn't quite book himself a place in Hell in a Cell just yet in the previous episode Stampy 
said that if he doesn't win championship gold by the end of this season, his career will be over. He was eliminated from the Hell in a Cell a qualifying race by Vanos. Who knows what's going to happen with Stampy now. His career is up in the air as Pat sets up a second table here at ringside. Three for Cat in the announce table and Jack flying and almost put himself on the second table. Jack for almost the second time almost putting himself through a table once again and now Pat is in trouble and the momentum firmly with Jack. We've seen Jack come from difficult situations before, mainly in his Hell in a Cell match against Vanos, which was featured in the trailer for this season. Jack Setakai, one of the few competitors with Hell in a Cell experience. And Pat, who was looking to run at Jack then, probably judged that the table was a little bit close. They're trying to wrestle some sort of advantage over Jack Setakai and manages to get him into the ring. And now a big clubbing right hand to the jaw and a kick to the face. Goes to climb into the ring, but Jack manages to catch him on the apron, and now Pat is in a dangerous position here as Jack now rock bottom off the apron, sending Pat through the table. And now the advantage firmly in Jack Septicai's court. Pat in trouble. Can Jack get Pat into the ring and finish this one off and get the one, two, three, and book himself a place inside Hell in a Cell? And Septicai punch this time flooring Pat. Begging him to get up to get a second one. Could the fourth set to high punch be landing on Pat's head here? Another one sending him down. Jack building momentum here and now looking for a third and final punctuating set to high punch as Pat groggy to his feet, but no, Pat blocks it. Hits Jack with a right hand and now going for an F5. If Pat hits this, could this be the second F5? This time in the center of the ring. And now Pat going up top. Oh, Pat, every time you try this, mate, it go, it's all goes up in smoke and it completely backfires on you. Pat going off title once again. When is Pat going to learn that aerial offence ain't his game? And now Jack holding his head, those, the uh, trip through the announce table, the second F5 in the middle of the ring, taking its toll, but has he got the strength to hit Pat with the jackhammer here? He's got him lofted up, slams him down with the jackhammer, hooks both legs. Jack is going to not go into Hell in a Cell just yet as Pat kicks out at two. And now Jack, I think Jack is realising here that the traditional moves in his arsenal are not going to be enough to book him his place in Hell in a Cell. He needs to go above and beyond here and that is why he's getting another table into the mix. And that is why he's setting it on fire. Jack from Shades of Jake Paul looking to blow stuff up here. And now getting, arming himself with a steel chair. We know how tough Pat is to beat. And Jack is needing to go the extra mile here and drives a steel chair right into the midsection of Pat. Delivers a second one this time to the lower section. And this time to the back. Jack just hammering away on Cobbler of the Mose like a whack a mole with that steel chair. And now could be looking to just end things here in. Oh, man. Sit down, Popper of Mo's the second huge steel chair shot that Pat has taken in this match. And, what, and Jack, what's he thinking here? Jack, might, we've seen Jack do this before. Jack might be looking for that top rope superplex that he does from the inside to the outside of the ring. But Pat just managed to battle out of it and just kicked him in the throat and flew in with a shoulder block. I thought Jack was going to go for that super outside superplex doesn't quite get it but now Pat is lofting Jack maybe he's going to drop him head first on that chair but no a guy goes straight through the flaming table and Jack is in big trouble Pat is just is almost borderline set Jack set to guy on fire we've seen two F5s Jack's gone through a flaming table he's taking steel chair shots and now Pat could be looking to hoist him up here for the third F5 can Jack kind of wriggle out of this? No, F5 straight on the steel chair. Pat goes for the cover. Referee Billy Bob Webster, that's one, two, and that's three. And Pop Rebemos books his place at N60 Mania, qualifying for the Hell in a Cell match. Guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Drop a like on the video if you did. Make sure you subscribe as well. And uh, Pat, Joel, wait, hang on a second. H2O Delirious. Coming down to the ring and we've seen, and these two have been teased to face off for a long, long time. And H2O Delirious will now be facing off of sorts with Pat inside Hell in a Cell.
along with Vanos, along with Minilad and two other competitors. Guys, we're going to be kicking off qualification for the Heroes Hell in a Cell match very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all excellent. Thank you to everyone who's been sending fan art as well um, on Twitter and on Instagram. Follow me on all those things up here. I've been N60 Sean. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye-bye-bye.